Okay, so I've gotten a lot of people asking uh, in DMs or on the Discord, what is the ch how how I got approximately sixty three point three nine six seven six five eight seven percent as my answer. So I would just wanted to show you, uh, you could do this with any number. You could do you could figure it out with fifty gingerbread bears with a thousand gingerbread bears. Um, so yeah, let me just go ahead and show you how I did it. So we're just gonna go ahead and use the decimal science of a calculator for this. So. Uh, to calculate the chance of something happening, you actually need to calculate the chance of it not happening. Because if you try to calculate the chance of it happening, then, well, I guess you could. Uh, you know, it's complicated. Uh, okay, so basically, first thing I want to do is minimize the amount of number I have to multiply. So basically, the chance of a gingerbread bear not turning a bee gifted is 99 in 100. Now, if I do the next part of the equation with numbers like this, I'll, will, I'll get just insanely high numbers on this side and they won't really make any sense to me. So let me go ahead and explain how to do it. So basically what I'm gonna do is divide both sides by 99. So I'm just, it's going to be one over 1.010101, etc. Uh, so basically instead of a 99100, it also has a one in 1.0101. So now what I wanna do is take this number, so we're just going to go and throw it 100 divided by 99 in parentheses. And then we want to put that to the power of however many gingerbread bears we have, in this case 100. So it has a 1 in 2.73199926 chance of not happening. Uh, so what we want to do next is divide 1 by this number, so by 2.7. Seven, three, one, nine, nine, etc., and this will be the chance we get of it not happening. Then to to figure out what the chance of it happening is, we want to do this and then do uh, this, and now we know we have a sixty-three percent chance of it not happening with one hundred gingerbread bears. Now let's say I wanted to change it to two hundred gingerbread bears. Super simple. I just need to change this number right here. Wait, no, I did something wrong. What did I do wrong? Hmm. Maybe I didn't. No, I didn't do anything wrong. Okay, so I want to change this number, and for uh, reasons, I'm just going to plug this in here. So we have that equation. And now I know there's an 86% chance if I use 200 gingerbread bears. What if I have 1,000 gingerbread bears? 99.99% chance of it turning gifted. But there is that 0.005% chance of it not turning gifted. Now, what if I have 10 gingerbread bears? There is a 9.5% chance of it turning gifted. You expect it to be 10%, but that's not actually how statistics work. So yeah, this is basically just how you do it. So basically, you would want to type in this equation to Desmos and just this super simple equation right here. Now, let's say you're calculating something else. Like, let's say you're calculating the chance of a mythic bee, right, from a certain amount of jellies. So instead of 100 by 99, you would want to do 25,000 divided by 24,999 instead, right? And then I can do 25,000 jellies, and I'll have the chance of getting a gift to be with 25,000 jellies, which is 63.2%, or I could do it with any number of jellies, like 10,000 jellies, making the chance about 32%. So yeah, that's really all there is to it. Uh, it's kind of simple, kind of complicated, uh, but yeah, that's basically how statistics works. And uh, yep, there, there you go for all the people asking me.